For the latest top tips, reviews and advice, please subscribe below. Hello and welcome to At Walls Outdoors with me, Mike. Some of you guys a bit of a sort of pitching slash tutorial video about how to pitch a Dometic side wing. So a side wing is a product you can add onto your Dometic awning and as the name suggests, it's pretty much like a, a canopy or a wing that comes off the side of it and attaches onto the zip on the side. So whether you've got a sort of a, a club, uh, a, a normal grande or even an all season version, uh, it will be the Ace that I've got with me here. It's an option you can add to it. Immediately you can't backdate it. So from 2021 going forward, this is available and it won't predate old models, unfortunately, um, but it's a nice sort of offering. So through this video, we're sort of going to pitch it, give you a bit more idea about it, uh, and show you how simple it really is and how kind of versatile it is. So all we're going to do essentially is unravel it first, kind of grab it out. Now, it's quite a simplistic idea and it gives you a bit more versatility. I see this being really more of a kind of a canopy that creates that sort of almost like sheltered area before you enter your lovely clean living area and it gives you the ability that you leave your shoes out here and then you're not traipsing all in or again nice day you want a bit of sun coverage or coverage in the rain you can walk in and out of here especially if you haven't got something like the uh, the club or the ace where you've got a little canopy at the front it just makes it a bit more versatile again if you want the mesh left open it gives you the flexibility so essentially the sign wing pretty much covers comes complete with just two adjustable poles and the material and obviously the guy ropes as well. In many ways in the year gone by kind of camper in its former glory basically used to do a sun wing which came off the front of the ace but the problem is that it's pitch sizes with this you go no further than actually the uh, hitch on the caravan. So the first thing I need to do before I do anything is I need to take, remove the stall strap on the side and I can just sort of take that out of the way and then I want to open up the zip baffle that little bit there, just so I can get into that. Now, what you want to find is obviously what is inside the outside. The trick straight away to that is there will be a little tail on the very end of the zip, something that looks like this, and that will match up with the little tail you've got on the awning itself. You can get these left and right handed, so you, you can pick and choose which you know, side it goes. In theory, you can have one on both, or if you want to say like an extension on the left, and then a canopy on the right again gives you lots of flexibility so the zip runner itself is going to be on the actual main part of the awning so I'm just going to zip that in initially make sure it's all the way to the bottom and then pull it up what you want to do is obviously hold the fabric before you put the zip going it just makes life a lot easier it takes a lot of the strain out of it corner points are definitely more of a higher tension point so you can always push back that flap a little bit open it up and then pull that back over if you wanted to as well you can also isolate this side beam deflate it Get that down, it means there's a bit more sort of kind of pressure in it that you can you know, make it a bit more accessible. Plus it takes a little bit more of the uh, give into it as such. If you're not tall like me, a ladder is always, a step's always helpful. I and mean, you make sure that the tails always go to the bottom. So now we've kind of got it hanging loosely to look so. We can sort of prep the poles ready to go. So the poles itself, the one at the back is sort of going to kind of almost be the same sort of height as the top of the awning. So it's pretty, I pretend to put it probably a full, full opening, like we're there, so it's about the same. And then, I'll lean that against there carefully. Then the one at the front is gonna be around about sort of the height of here. I would say about head height or nose height for me. So you can sort of extend them out either way. Again, we've got about nose height for there. But it's one of these things we'll sort of tweak as we go. So what I wanna do first is we've got a peg just going to feed that spike directly through the eyelet. It doesn't matter what Pogos, Pogos wear, it's basically the same thing. Make sure the guy rope is actually sort of over the top of it as well. And then I want to peg, pull this out. I want to probably just get about 15-50. You'll see a seam located there and you want to kind of almost peg directly in line with that seam and we can tweak this afterwards. So, and then the guy point again wants to go directly with that seam as well. So I'll pull that out. Just peg that approximately initially. And then we'll do the back one. Same kind of idea, just straight through the eyelet initially. Make sure it's got a little bit of go around it as well, just to kind of tension it all at the same time. And then position it. Ideally, you want kind of them upright. I personally like to angle them a little bit away, just so it's got a bit more stability. And again, you want to almost peg directly against itself. And it's kind of finding where the location is in many ways or how well it kind of pegs. 
Uh, you want to get sort of plenty of kind of tension into it. But to be fair, that looks pretty decent. We might just go up a little bit with that, just a little bit. It's the fine line between sort of getting this seam tight and that seam tight without getting that in. But for me, like I said, you want to ideally get that same height pitch as you got on the other side. But as you see, really nice, really quick, really simple. We've then got a whole sort of storage section, well, open area for chairs and things, tables, sit out here on a nice day. Uh, and again, you can buy your respective, so it matches the actual awning itself. For more information about this very particular product, you can check in the link below. It has all of them listed uh, for each individual awning. But of course, feel free to let us know what you think of it, as well as we've got a separate kind of pitching video for like an extension, uh, which you can see we've done on a, a sort of different brand, but the same principle throughout of it. So yeah, that's kind of the idea of the uh, domestic side wing. Uh, and like I said, any more information, just let us know. Thanks again for watching, and we hope to see you again soon.